If you're interested in FIFA Mobile, I currently have a second channel where we run a FIFA Mobile Road to Glory, link down below. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description, use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to a brand new video, brand new Team of the Week. Uh, for those of you who are playing Weekend League and were wondering, am I playing it for nothing? Here we go. Morris, one goal, one assist, 3-1 win in the MLS. Uh, there are a couple of other players dotted around the MLS, but uh, that could be a potential silver start. Jolington up next with our first goal card and our Premier League goal card as well. He got one goal and one assist in Newcastle's 2-0 win. However, so did his teammate, Wilson. Now, I would prefer this card. I'm sure many would. However, he's only recently had an inform. I'm not too sure whether he'll get another one that close to the last one. I can't quite remember what week it was. Bear that in mind because that's going to be a re reoccurring theme. Backer with one goal in a 5-3 win for Wolfsburg. Again, another shout for a potential Silver Stars player. Rousselon in that game also got an assist, so that would be a better choice. But still, Romo with one goal and one assist in a 3-1 win. I'm not too sure many will care too much about that. Of course, if you live on that side of the world, you'd be very interested in this. But there just aren't that many players to link in with him. Marquez is another potential silver star with two goals and one assist in a 5-2 win. And uh, in fact, we're going to stick with that sort of theme for a second, Silver Stars. Because up next, we have Onuachu, who has got himself two goals in a 5-1 win. Uh, looks like a good card, actually. I mean, I've boosted it heavily, sure. But that's what th the Silver Stars cards tend to be, right? Up next is Bamba. Uh, he got himself a hat-trick in a 3-1 win. It's likely to be this card, actually, because he's already got naturally high pace. And with uh, a shooting boost and a dribbling boost, could be very useful. Not going to try and say his name. However, he could be up for a second in form. Although, very much like a player earlier, he won't be chosen. He got a hat-trick in an 8-2 win. Unfortunately, it's too close to his hero card that he got in a Team of the Week. Was it two weeks ago? So it's likely to be Adeyemi, who has popped up with one goal and four assists in that 8-2 win. There is another player as well who's got a hat-trick, but he looks god-awful in game. So I hope it's Adeyemi. Diane up next for Galatasaray with a hat-trick in a 4-0 win. This is all but guaranteed. I just hope that EA, for some reason, boost his pace because that could very much be a link to Falcao. Gonsalves up next. Probably said his name wrong, but there we are. It's probably Thalvez, isn't it? Two goals in a 2-1 win for Sporting. We don't get many Portuguese league informs, so... I wouldn't hold your breath, but you never know. Uh, Victor Klassen up next with one goal and one assist in Ajax's customary 5-0 win. They have been banging them in as of late. Not too many uh, goals to mention from other clubs in the Dutch league, so if they are going to give it to someone, it's likely to be Klassen. Uh, Payet up next with one goal in a 3-1 win for Marseille. Not the only player from Marseille in contention. Unfortunately, because he's a left wing, it just makes the card pointless. No one is going to use it as a left wing. Maybe start him as a left wing, move him into a cam. Uh, the other player is uh, Rongier, who got one assist in a 3-1 win. Again, lack of pace means that not many people would want to pick him up, I'm sure. Bit of fodder. But if you save your Team of the Week packs, I'll be honest, this week's Team of the Week... Probably not the one you want to open your packs for. Veloso up next. One goal and one assist in a 2-0 win against Atalanta. So, big result. You know, Atalanta have just beaten the best team in the world. Uh, Gagliardini up next with one goal in a 3-0 win. Gagliardini once had the biggest upgrade in FIFA history, going from a bronze to a gold ones-to-watch card, if you remember. Was it FIFA 17? I like that card. Newhouse... Up next with one goal, one assist in a 4-1 win for Borussia Mönchengladbach. These cards, these cards, I mean the players in real life, I like them a lot, right? But the cards just don't do it for me. Coman, however, could be the one. Uh, one goal and one assist in Bayern Munich's hard-fought 3-1 win over Stuttgart. It was a decent game to watch. Well, I say that, it was a bit of a... What did Muller say? How you say, uh, do it on a rainy night in Stoke. He said something like that. Uh, Angelino up next with a one goal in a 2-1 win for Leipzig. Is that going to be enough for a left back? He did concede a goal, technically speaking. I'm not sure, but we are lacking defenders rather drastically here. So I wouldn't be surprised. Let's move on to Shkiri. Probably said that wrong. But uh, he got both goals in Cologne's 2-1 win over Dortmund, no less. So 
That is all but a shoe in And, he, of course, he's a CDM. Hoping he gets a bit more of a boost than that. But, again, his pace is going to let him down. Johnson of West Brom got, or rather, made five saves and kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. So, you never know in terms of a goalkeeper. And the other one, of course, potential silver stars, unless they want to make him some rubbish 78 gold. They could go for Messier, who made eight saves and kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win over Everton. Mama Balde up next. Uh, two goals in a 3-1 win. Looks pacey and is a right mid. That's pretty much all I have to say about him. To be fair, he is quite well-rounded. Speaking of pacey right mids, Gelson Martins. Hello, I'm clutching at straws here, but this would be fantastic for my bench. Uh, one goal in a 3-0 win for Monaco. I think Ben Yedder was involved in something. Volland was involved in something else. I really hope they don't give it. I mean, Volland wouldn't be terrible. But again, that's too close to his last inform. Toko Akambi with one goal and two assists in Lyon's 3-0 win. I mean, he's involved in every single goal there. He has to get himself an inform. But very much like many players in this week's Team of the Week, who cares? Apart from Lyon fans, of course. Insigne, at the moment, and I must stress, the game is still underway. Only just. It's 3-0 now. Uh, it's... Dries Mertens, who's got that third goal. So, I think Insigne might have even gone off. No, Insigne's still on. So, he's probably going to get it. Let's be honest. Kessie up next. The other game in Italy, Milan against Fiorentina. And Kessie got one goal and one assist. I believe he missed a penalty as well, which is a shame. But it should still be enough, theoretically. The man of the moment is Antoine Griezmann. This is the guy you want in your team. This is the player you'll be looking for in your red picks, I'm sure. He scored one of the hardest shots thing I've ever seen in my life. It was outside the area, nearly broke the net. The goalkeeper didn't move. Rumours are he's still there waiting to save it. Mares is a player who is not going to get a team of the week unless EA break tradition and break one of the most stupid rules in the history of rules, and that is to not give a player an inform two weeks after he got one before. He got a hat-trick in a 5-0 win. I think they'll give it to Kevin De Bruyne for two assists in that 5-0 win. He's not got a special card this year. It is a talisman, an anchorman, a big name for, for a team of the week. And Mares, of course, due to their own rules, can't get one. The, the player that should be in form, of course, is going to be Edison Cavani. Now, he won't get it because he's not in the game unless somehow, some way, EA have found a way to get Cavani into the game. He got two goals in a 3-2 win against, uh, was it Southampton they beat 3-2? I think they were lucky, not lucky, but you know what I mean, in terms of scoreline. Yeah, Southampton um, were 2-0 up by 33 minutes. Ward Prowse on the mark again, but Cavani rescued Manchester United late with two relatively late goals. The only other player in that, he got an assist as well, actually. The only other players to get um, goal contributions there... Bruno Fernandes, probably not. And Marcus Rashford, probably not as well. So I don't think... I mean, they're just going to pluck someone out of their backside there for that Man United game, I'm sure. They may go for Matic or Van der Beek or something, even though none of them deserve it over someone like Cavani. But he's not in the game, so what are you going to do? That's going to do it for this week's Team of the Week predictions. I apologise if I've left anybody out. Wolves... I mean, you could go for Podence, you could go for Pedro Neto, I suppose. They beat Arsenal two goals to one away from home. Real Madrid lost 2-1, but I didn't really see anyone in that game that I would uh, that I would pick. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me. If you have enjoyed this week's Team of the Week predictions, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.